ઈચ્છા નિરોધ આપણે ધ ડેફિનેશન એ વાત કરી ઇફ દેટ ઇઝ ધ અલ્ટિમેટ અચીવમેન્ટ ઇન સ્પિરિચ્યુઆલિટી દેન વાય ડીડ મહાવીર ફીલ ધ નીડ ટુ એસ્ટાબ્લિશ ધ ફોર ફોલ્ડ સંઘ ઓકે એક્સપ્લેન યુ ધેટ ઓકે ધ મહાવીર ભગવાન એસ્ટાબ્લિશ ધ ફોર ફોલ્ડ ઓર્ડર સંઘ ઓકે ઇફ યુ લુક એટ ઇટ ધ કન્ટેમ્પરરી રિલિજિયન વોઝ ધ બુદ્ધિઝમ with jainism okay when buddha realized and established the religion okay he did not do he only made man sang buddha did not initiate any women okay in their sang okay it was not a four four order it was the uh, only one species okay that this religion is only for the people who can do the meditation renounce the world all right and uh, the women are considered like a property that time at 2500 years ago you can imagine when chandan bala was sold on the street okay so the her owner sold her with a few price okay the same thing like christ was sold uh, if you look at the bible when you read the bible christ was sold by somebody otherwise christ would have been never been fined by these enemies okay and it was sold that way so that that gulab slaves existed at that time 2000 years ago or 2500 years ago these things and uh, the the ladies were considered property it is not like that so that's why you can see it uh danna sali badra story what is the sali badra story is telling that when sani sali badra wanted to take the diksha he had a 32 wives and he was giving away one wife at a time now when you look at it they uh, the persons culture the, the the whole thing is the culture that they never even think uh that they have any right or any property but look at the same time mahavira he decided that i am going to have two grade one for the complete renunciation okay their number is going to be lot small okay but here are the other group okay shravak and shravika i am giving them total freedom why i am saying saying that one the total freedom in a sense that he give all four equal opportunity the four sang sadhu and sadhvi bhagwan mahavir is the one who gave the diksha to chandan bala he did not give diksha to gautam swami first and say gautam now you are the head of of the you no know, these four groups and you give everybody initiate everybody so they will be all under you all the time okay bhagwan mahavir is the one who gave the chandan bala diksha same thing all right anand shravak 12 vows and sulsa shravika the 12 vows not nobody else so they are all four our guru is bhagwan mahavir so does all monks guru is bhagwan mahavir okay and that was the biggest revolution if you look at when you establish the sang no bhagwan mahavir made it in a such a way that they are all give that equal opportunity you can progress from uh, ultimate liberation is from you no know, complete renunciation all right that's where the ultimate renunciation is but at least you can you no know, reach whatever the level you can reach that is the one of the revolutionary thought 
that was never existed in Indian culture. Even in Hinduism, women have very little uh, power. If you look at all the rituals, things and everything was only controlled by men Brahmans. Okay, the women Brahman has no really power or anything like if you look at the whole Indian history is a male dominated society. In that 2500 years ago, what Bhagwan Mahavi did is one of the biggest revolutionary person you can ever imagine. Uh, that that's what it happened, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so Bhagwan Mahavi did it that at least to this extent they can live healthily life. Okay, there is some you know committed sins are always there, but they are going to be there as long as you live your life. Human life cannot exist without committing sin. Keep, keep that thing in mind. Without pop, you cannot exist it because to eat green vegetables, that is also killing from own Jain point of view. So, but it is not their intention to kill. It is their intention is to live healthily, healthy survival, not for taste. If you are eating the food for taste, then here it is a pop, okay? But if you are eating that, what I'm trying to tell you, okay, use your own wisdom. Are you doing it for your survival or are you doing it for your enjoyment? Now, when you are eating for your enjoyment, then is a one thing. When you are doing it something for your survival, then it's a different story, okay? And that wisdom, you have to have it. All right? That is the reason.